Hey, good morning. Hey there, welcome to Popular Tripe. My name's Nick. Before we go any further, let's get the important stuff out of the way. Please hit like and subscribe on this video and tap that notification bell. It's very early here in the UK. You might even be able to hear birdsong from my window. So it's a nice ASMR for you. Start the video on a nice relaxed tone before we get into it. I woke up at 5.30 a.m. this morning, did that thing that you shouldn't do, and picked up my phone, started scrolling through, and saw that a new two-minute scene from the Matt Reeves Robert Pattinson The Batman film has been posted. If you've seen my video of the top 10 films I'm looking forward to this year, this is number one. If you haven't seen the video, the link's down below. This has been labelled as a funeral scene, but I think this is the first chance we're going to get to have a real sense of tone for the movie. The trailers have already given us a good look at the film and what to expect, but I'm keen to see what sort of vibe we're going to get from this full scene now. So let's take a look. You know, you really could be doing more for this city. Your family has a history of philanthropy, but as far as I can tell, you're not doing anything. If I'm elected, I want to change that. I'm gonna go pay my respects. Will you wait for me? I'm gonna continue this. Will you wait for me? So they... In the trailer, I thought it was kind of like a... She was a journalist or something. I'm sorry. But clearly, they have some sort of relationship. Excuse me, Chief. Can I talk to you? Gil Coulson is missing. What? He hasn't been heard from since last night. Christ, not again. Hey, Mr. Wayne. You got people looking for him, Jim? Sent a couple guys to his house, nothing. What is what she? She hadn't heard from him. Screams. See, Bruce is on guard. Even as Bruce Wayne is on guard, he's been denied. Yeah. See, his first sense is to protect that long blue. See the parallels there. Get out of the car! Get out of the car and show your hands! Get out! Gordon not taking any shit. Get him up! Get out, show him! He's very seven. Christ, it's Coulson. There's a bomb around the set! Let's clear this place out now! The Batman. The Batman. Rated PG-13. Experience it in IMAX. Only in theaters March 4th. That's just got me even more excited. Talking about that sense of tone earlier, it is very Seven. You saw the Riddler on the top of that balcony there. And it really puts you in mind of that scene in Seven where John Doe walks into the police station. Detective! Just that really ominous sense of threat. I don't think Bruce Wayne said a word in that whole scene, but the performance still gave you a sense of who he was as a person. He was switched on. He was surveying the area. I don't know if there was any hint of any impending threat, but he was looking around the room, sort of scoping the scene. Obviously there's that instant connection with the young boy at the front there. But as soon as the threat became apparent, he went up a notch. Tim Gordon was very no-nonsense, and the Riddler always saw as a silhouette, but his presence was there throughout. Maybe that's a subconscious thing because of the footage that we've already seen, but that sense of looming threat was there throughout the whole scene. You know, we've seen this two-minute scene, seen a couple of other TV spots, there's been a couple of trailers but it really looks like Matt Reeves has done an amazing job. The runtime got confirmed this week at about three hours long, and everyone's throwing their arms up in the air. Avengers was over three hours. Justice League, Snyder Cut, was over four hours. Most films these days seem to be two and a half, two and three quarter. If that's what they need to tell their story, that thrilling, deep, 
truthful story, then God, just embrace it. You'd sit at home and binge watch three or four episodes of your favourite show. Now my cat wants to come in. So, so ready for this. I'm ready to visit this new Gotham City, this new world, this new vision. It's going to be so good. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. Like I said, it is very early. It's too early. What did you think of the clip? Are you looking forward to the Batman? Leave your comments down below. And as always, here comes the begging part. Please could you click like on this video, hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell, because if you are one of both of the people that watch this channel, it's the perfect way to keep up to date with all the new content that comes through. So the Batman coming to us this March, that's maybe five, six weeks away. Oh, I just can't wait. So anyway, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.